Hello, I'm Marc Desgroseillers from Technical Support here at Pix4D and today I'm talking to you about altitude and vertical coordinate systems. Well, what's a vertical coordinate system? It's a way to measure the altitude. This can be done either in a relative way or an absolute way. Uh, a relative way is um, something that would change from time to time. One good example is when the drone is recording to the altitude relative to the, uh, to the height above ground. So that means that it's measuring the altitude with respect to the initial position at which it started flying. And this initial position, well, it can very well change from one project to the next. And that means that the coordinates will change from one project to the next. This is what we mean by relative altitude. You can also do it in an absolute way. This would require you to define a baseline height, so a height at which the altitude you, defy, you decide it is zero. Uh, and this is what a vertical coordinate system does. Uh, to do this, you will need a model of the Earth, and there are two common ways uh, to do this. Uh, first way would, the first way would be an ellipsoid. So as we know, the Earth is more or less uh, spherical, but uh, more precisely, it is ellipsoidal because some of the axes don't have exactly the same uh, length. So you can use an ellipsoid to model uh, the Earth. Another common way is to use a geoid, which is a more mathematically complex object, which is going to model the Earth a bit more closely. So, for example, taking into account it's going to be closer for mountains or depressions or things like this. Uh, so there's really a trade-off. In a sense, the, the ellipsoid is uh, simple and might have larger differences with the actual Earth, but it's very easy to compute. Whereas the geoid is more computationally intensive, but it's also more accurate. Uh, in Pix4D software, it's possible to choose which vertical coordinate system you're going to use uh, in your project. To do so, you go to the coordinate system window and you need to make sure that the advanced checkbox is ticked. Uh, and then you can choose between several geoid models or you can choose uh, an automatically selected ellipsoid. If you have a different uh, vertical coordinate system that you would like to use, this is also possible. What you should do is you should compute the difference at your location, at the location of your project, you should compute the difference between the ellipsoid and the vertical system that you would like to use. So if there's a 20 meter offset between these two at your location, then you should use the height of the geoid above ellipsoid uh, function and you can enter 20 in this field and then this will raise your project by 20 meters and so it will use the vertical coordinate system that you would like uh, to use. Uh, one problem that we encounter here at support uh, often is that the altitude of the project is not correct. And most of the time, this is because the EXIF information, so the altitude information that's written in the images, is not correct itself. And so the whole model is going to use this altitude information, and so the whole model will not have the correct altitude. It's possible to correct this. Uh, what you can do is you can uh, create GCPs in your project. Now, if your project already had GCPs, great, you can just use those. If you, your project does not have GCPs, uh, it's possible to obtain GCP information from a web map service such as uh, Google Maps. Uh, in this case, it's important to remember that the default accuracy of the GCP in the software is set to two centimeters and that these uh, GCPs obtained from web services, they are typically less accurate and we recommend using an accuracy of the order of three to five meters. Uh, this would give much better results. Now, when, if you decide that you want to import uh, the GCPs, what it will look like is something like this, where you have your project, which is at one altitude, and since the altitude of the project is wrong, the, it's not going to match with the blue crosses, which represent the GCPs. Uh, what should you do in this case? Well, you should create a new tie point and um, 
market in the images. You should do this for three uh, GCPs. If you want to be reminded how to create new type points, uh, I recommend you have a look at our type point video. So you create these three uh, GCPs and then if you have more GCPs in a text file, you can import the text file at this point. Um, what you, then the software, if you have GCPs that have the same name, uh, the software will ask you which of the two information you want to keep and you should keep the information from the file. Then you can re-optimize your project. The software will change the altitude and now your project will have the correct altitude. The blue crosses are going to line up with your project and it will be easy to mark the rest of the GCPs in the images. Great. That's all I wanted to say about vertical coordinate systems today. I hope you found this video helpful and I'll see you in the next video.